<laughs> America. Uh, I'm in the kitchen. We're gonna. I was gonna say bake, but I don't really think this counts as baking because nothing is going in the oven. Long story short, I bought avocados and didn't eat them. They were for salads that I didn't end up making for lunch. Oh, tomatoes, that's what I meant I was getting before I set the camera up. So I don't actually know how to check if avocados are ripe. Um, yep, I just bought them. I also did not end that thought. Is this everything I needed? Salt, I needed salt. I'm literally just gonna use the salt from the salt and pepper shaker. Probably a bowl. A bowl is probably a good thing to have. <laughs> We're gonna make guacamole because I have avocados that are ripe and should be eaten. And tomorrow is my roommate's birthday, so she likes guacamole. So let's make some guacamole. I also have two types of tomatoes here. Um, the reason for that is I, I asked my mom if she had baby tomatoes because I needed tomatoes. The recipe shows little tiny tomatoes, which are these ones, are these ones. So I asked for two of these, so they're little, but not these ones. So I have a bunch of these now that I don't really know what to do with because I don't like tomatoes. I like them, but like, not really. You need two tomatoes, it just says tomatoes, but really it wants little ones. Three avocados, two cloves of garlic, one lime, I don't have a lime, I have lime juice, that's my roommate, and salt, which I got. I also heard that it's better to make this the day before you wanna eat it. So we're gonna go with that, but I'm still gonna try it today. Scrape the middle of the avocados into a mixing bowl. This is fun, I don't know how to do this. Usually I do the crisscross thingy, but this one seems really ripe, so I don't really think I need to put much effort into it. I think I just set myself up for failure by saying that. No, this one's way overripe. It's brown. I'm gonna put that in the sink. Okay, so we're gonna use two avocados. Life happens and you deal with it. Sometimes your avocados are not ripe enough and sometimes they're overripe. So you just go with that. Do I mush it first? It doesn't say to mush it, but I'm gonna mush it. All right, okay, it also now says to, um, mm, delicious. Um, add the juice from, oh, add the juice from one lime and then mush it. Read the, all the instructions first. I learned that when writing tests. What is the juice of one lime? Equal to the juice of, this is equal to the juices of 10. I don't know. Whoa, that was probably way too much. We're gonna go with it. No wait, you're supposed to do it this way? What did, what did my friend tell me? You do skin last because it bites you? Some YouTubers give you like the close-up of the work they're doing. I don't want you to see this. This I'm just butchering this tomato. Um, I'm gonna mince my garlic. I have a mince press. I'm gonna press my garlic. How do you do this? I've never. I don't do this. How do you? Well, and then and then you put it in here. Wait, did I not get all this out? Come out. No, I did. It's just making weird noises. I think you're supposed to. You should chop it. Don't. Do not do what I'm doing. I'm doing it all wrong.
This video clearly shows why I bake and I don't cook. And then you mix it. Oh, I put some salt in. No, don't go to sleep. I need you. Make sure you add enough salt for good flavor. Apparently that's it. I'm done. It says to serve in cute little dishes. Well, at least we know my oven did this one up. I gotta get a chip to try it with. Damn it! My thin chips keep breaking. Okay. No. Guacamole does taste better the next day. It's actually not that bad. I didn't fail that much. I want a piece of tomato. It's not the best guacamole that I've had, but it's actually really good. That's five ingredient guacamole. <laughs> That's what happens when you buy avocados and don't use them. You make guacamole for your roommate. The entire failure of this recipe lies in the fact that I can't cut tomatoes. I actually eat all of it. It's actually pretty good. Then again, I don't really know how you can go wrong with guacamole because it's avocados and tomatoes, and that's deliciousness. And the tomatoes aren't really that good. Avocados are amazing. There aren't gonna be any left for tomorrow. Cause I'm just gonna eat it all. Nope, I'm gonna stop. These chips are not good for it. For it. They just keep breaking. And I'm gonna try my it. You can't even taste that I put too much lime juice in. Maybe I didn't put too much lime juice in. Maybe I put in the right amount of lime juice. And then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and we're gonna eat it tomorrow um, for her birthday. It's actually really good. But again, guacamole is not that difficult. It's not. If you like guacamole, uh, give this video a thumbs up. If you have a good guacamole recipe that you think is better than my five one, let me know. Uh, literally found this on Pinterest because it said it needed three avocados and I had three. There's only two in the bowl. Don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want to see some more baking videos. Cooking? This is cooking. Great. This isn't baking. This is assembling. Assembling. I also have some favorites videos, some vlogs, some different trips I take. I don't think I'll be taking any more trips for the rest of this year. And I am not participating in Vlogmas. My life is not that entertaining to do a vlog every day. Yesterday I petted my cat for five minutes and then she realized and ran away. She hates me. So I'm gonna end it there. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at ERKDonovan. Uh, bye.